Why do vets sometimes draw blood samples from the jugular vein of a dog or cat? And what is done with these blood samples? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary education video sponsored by Topio Vets, where veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. The study of blood and blood samples is known as hematology. Hematology provides important evidence for bacteremia in the delayed treatment of sick pets. Our blood is composed of numerous components. Plasma is the liquid in which all blood cells bathe, comprising 55% of blood. Red blood cells carry oxygen to all parts of the body. The percentage of red blood cells in the blood is termed a hematocrit and is usually 45%. Less than 1% of the blood is composed of platelets and white blood cells. Platelets play an important role in the clotting of blood near a wound. Let's now talk about white blood cells. They are responsible for fighting infections of foreign agents, such as bacteria, viruses, and fungi. They typically do so by engulfing foreign agents in a process called phagocytosis. There are four types of white blood cells. Neutrophils are the most numerous type and are the first responders to any infection. Basophils are responsible for inflammatory reactions such as redness and swelling. Eosinophils are responsible for fighting parasitic infections such as those caused by worms. Monocytes are the largest type and are largely responsible for phagocytosis. When bacteria infect the blood, it is termed bacteremia. This is accompanied by an increase in the number of white blood cells and neutrophils. A viral infection of the blood is termed viremia and is accompanied by a decrease in white cell and lymphocyte count. Here are some case studies. A 6-year-old poodle was admitted after many months of itch and scratching due to a skin infection. It had ear canal infections and its skin was rough and blackened from scratching. This 14-year-old miniature schnauzer was admitted two days after breathing difficulties and being unable to walk due to a neck abscess. This 14-year-old multipool came in for the treatment of an abscess due to an ear which was infected for many weeks. Blood tests on all three dogs provided evidence of serious infection as a result of delayed treatment. Here are the white blood cell counts for all three dogs. All are much higher than the normal range of 6 to 17 units. Neutrophil count and percentage was also considerably higher than that of normal healthy dogs. Hematology tells us that a high white cell and neutrophil count indicates bacteremia in these dogs. After hematological diagnosis of bacteremia, the pet must of course be treated. This poodle was given a full body shave and then prescribed with antibacterial wash. As it is of a relatively young age, it was still very active on the day of discharge. It was fortunate that the bacteremia did not result in dire consequences, such as high fever, brain damage, or death. Pets are often treated like a member of the family. The children may have grown up with these pets, but as they do so, they become busier with school and then a career. Although many working adults still carve out enough time to spend with their former childhood companions and still want to give them the best care, some pets are occasionally neglected, such as our case study, the poodle. The working adult of the household was financially stable and was thus capable of giving proper care to the poodle. However, due to a busy schedule, the poodle was left in sole care of the elderly parents. They welcomed it as an old age companion and doted on it. When the pet was ill, however, the elderly parents tried convenient home or pet shop remedies which did not work, but we cannot blame them for doing so as they had little financial means to help. Only when the condition got much worse was it taken to Topayo Vets. Hematology played an important role by providing evidence for delayed treatment-induced bacteria. To prevent a similar delayed treatment of your pet, do monitor it regularly, spare time to visit the vet when suspecting an illness, and refrain from attempting home remedies. The poodle has been cured of its ear canal infection and looks much healthier, but it will now be up to its masters, particularly the working adults in the family, to give it warmth and love to ensure that it makes a full recovery. For more information, you can visit topiovets.com or contact one of the hotlines shown below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.